The creators of the monument to Taras Shevchenko in Warsaw wanted to show him as a revolutionary who inspires people. It was opened in 2002. The place was chosen very carefully. They decided to erect it at the Shevchenko Park in the center of Warsaw, not far from the Ukrainian embassy in Poland. It is very good that we have this monument, partly because the Poles started to see Shevchenko not as a person who we find in the history of world literature, where just half a page is written about him, but as a phenomenon of Ukrainian literature, culture and history that still plays an important role in the association of Ukrainians. His poems were recited on the Maidan, and he's mentioned in the works of Ukrainian rock musicians and artists. For Ukrainians living in Poland, the monument to the poet here is a special place. Rallies were held here at the time of Euromaidan. Now they're holding actions in support of Ukrainian political prisoners, bringing flowers to the monument and singing the Ukrainian anthem. This monument lives differently than all the monuments of the world. Shevchenko is the center of meetings and communication for Ukrainians, Poles and Crimean Tatars. Here, residents of other countries gather because Shevchenko is the business card of Ukraine. The square with the monument to the Ukrainian poet is one of the favorite places to walk for Warsaw resident Eva Lipinska. She begins her acquaintance with the poet's work with a four-line piece written on the monument in Polish. Shevchenko is as important for Ukrainians as Mitskevich is for Poles. At this monument he is young, very pleasant. People often bring flowers here. Recently I saw a large group of young people from Ukraine here. They held a rally. It touched me. For them, this place is symbolic. Memorials to Taras Shevchenko are installed in 35 countries. Busts in Macedonia, Romania, Paraguay, monuments in France, Italy, Argentina. There's even a metal sculpture of a kobza, a Ukrainian musical instrument, in the capital of Australia, in Canberra. There are more than 125 monuments to the Ukrainian poet around the world. Reported by Vadim Hrinko from Warsaw, UATV.